Welcome to Tuesday everybody, Eco Zoom Rocket Stove, fabulous piece of kit, fantastic for emergencies, preparedness, that sort of thing. Made of cast iron, it's built to last, it can be used for wood or charcoal, my preference is for charcoal, it's a very efficient way of cooking your lunch. I kind of had an inspirational moment, I thought you know what I could use that as a tandoor oven, and the idea seemed fantastic and now in reality I'm not sure if it was a good idea at all but we're going to give it a go. Condiments are ready we just need to get the meat on. Got some skewers at the ready, got the lamb and some chicken, some cheap chicken. Let's get it on and see how it works out. First up let's go with some cheap chicken, some chicken thigh. In theory I could just do this in a pan but it seemed like a far better much more fun way of going about it. Right, my theory was working out okay, but at this rate, I'm gonna be here all blooming day. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a slight change of plan. It's a good chance to use this new firebox plate that I've got. It's the 11 inch, the big pan. So we just cook it all together, otherwise we'll be here all day. And we see how it all pans out. That looks beautiful. What we do, we get the lid on. So, you'll get nice and steaming and hot and cook really quickly. The large firebox pan fits on there beautifully. Let's have a look at him, see how he's doing. starting to look amazing. I want the lid back on so I want it to steam and push that heat all the way through the meat. These rocket stoves are really simple to operate. All you need to do is open that if you want more air to go in and more heat and all you need to do then is close it and that's to calm everything down underneath. And if you wanted to feed more sticks in there, you just open the door. I don't want to do it at the moment in case my charcoal falls out. The best thing with the charcoal is just to load it at the top and control it with the door at the bottom. For the condiments, we've got some nice minty yogurt. That's really easy to make. And then we've just got some chopped chilies with tomato and coriander and onion. I thought that'd be a nice accompaniment to go with it. It's been a few minutes, let's have a look at him. If anything, it's generated a bit too much heat. It's sticking a bit, but that'll be fine. As I was saying about efficiency, I put very little charcoal in the bottom. And that's cooking that beautifully all the way through. That chicken looks to be done, let's dish him up. Lamb chops are still on that go. Let's give it a go with the chicken. That's been cooked beautifully. A 
bit of mint sauce. Mm. That's amazing. Let's go for some more. just goes to show you that you can do really good quality cooking at home. It doesn't take a lot of effort and what you get is absolutely fabulous. So it's a good time, it's going everywhere, it's a good time to start practicing now, ready for the summer and ready for when you have people around. hunched over to try and get everything in. My little man's done a fabulous job. Okay, the first plan, plan A, to use it as a tandoor oven was a really stupid idea. I wish I hadn't have thought of that. However, to cook up on that with a minimum amount of coals, to get a nice bit of hunch, has worked out really well. We got some lovely condiments with chilies. Mmm, that's so fresh. And we got the chicken. That's just some cheap chicken thighs, nothing fancy. marinated overnight and then we got a beautiful little leg of lamb let's have a bite of that and see what he's like mm. that's fabulous the fat on it is a little bit tough but it will be on a leg of lambs, needing rendering no longer, but the actual meat is fantastic. Mm. Just a sec, I've got a cough somewhere. Ah. There it is, always keep a cloth for your hands. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, then you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that little notification bell as well, wherever it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.